Good morning to all. Today's topic is generalization of the pigeonhole principle. Already we have studied what do you mean by pigeonhole principle. If n pigeons are accommodated in m pigeonholes and n greater than m, then at least one of the pigeons, uh, pigeonhole must contain two or three pigeons. Okay, so that is here pigeonhole principle. Now, if n pigeons are accommodated in m pigeon holes and m greater than m, then one of the pigeon holes must contain at least n minus 1 plus divided by m plus 1 pigeons. Where for this symbol, we use like this symbol, it's like a divide. Okay, so denotes the greatest integer less than or equal to x which is also a real number. This is called as a generalized pigeonhole principle. So, first we will see first example related to this pigeonhole principle. If there are 1 or 5 of you or at least 3 of you with the same birthday week. So, pigeons are 1 or people. Pigeonholes are there are 52 weeks. So, M is nothing but 52 weeks. By generalization of region hole principle, what is the formula? N minus 1 divided by M plus 1. So, 105 minus 1 divided by 52 plus 1. So, 105 is nothing but 104. So, 104 divided by 52 is nothing but 2. So, 2 plus 1, 3. 3 people is having the same birthday week. Yes, the question has been given. At least 3 of you will have a same birthday week. Yes, correct only the question is. So, that is your first example. Same with the second example. A man hiked for a 10 hours. And they hiked for a 10 hours and covered a total distance of 45 kilometers. So, total, total they covered. 45 kilometers. Okay. It is known that he hiked 6 kilometers in the first hour. 6 kilometers for the first hour. Plus 3 kilometers for the last hour. In between, they did not mention how many kilometers they covered. Okay. So, totally 9 kilometers. We covered 9 kilometers. Okay. So now, so 6 plus 3, 9 kilometers. So already they covered. So how many kilometers? Total 45 kilometers. This 9 kilometers we subtract it. So when we subtract it, so the remaining will be 36 kilometers. So total 45 minus 9 kilometer when I subtract it. So, 36 kilometers only he covered it. Okay. So, now when show that he must have hiked at least 9 kilometers within a certain period of 2 consecutive hours. They are taking, considering 2 successive Consecutive hours. Two successive consecutive hours means how can I take first and last leave it? The second hour and second and third hour together one period. Okay, ma. Same way, fourth. Okay, ma. fourth and fifth hour again. It's the second period. Same way. 6th and 7th hour, 3rd, okay. 8th and 9th, 9th hour to be 4 periods, okay. Totally only 4 time intervals, okay. So therefore, 4, so, Four time period only we are considering. The time periods are nothing but pigeon holes. Pigeon, how many pigeons are there? Pigeon is nothing but n, it's nothing but 36. Pigeon holes are m, it's 4. So when we substitute in the generalized pigeon hole, Yeah.
n minus 1 divided by m plus 1. So now it's nothing but so 36 minus 1 divided by 4 plus 1. So 36 minus 1, 35. 35 is nothing but 8.74. So plus 1, it's nothing but 9 peoples. So at least 9 kilometer was hard. Like by a uh, Okay. So the question has been given 9 kilometer. Yes. The question was given to be at least show that at least 9 kilometer within a certain period of two consecutive hard it has been hiked. Yes, it's correct only. So the next example, third example. What is the minimum number of the students required in the discrete max class? To be sure that at least 6 will receive the same grade and 5 possible grades. Okay. Here PGN is nothing but small n. They did not give how many students. So n students I am taking. PGN holes are m. How many grades? 5 grades. By generalization of the PGN hole principle, the formula is n small n minus 1 divided by m plus 1. m is 5 but uh, yeah, small n is n. So, n minus 1 plus 1 equal to 6. So, now when we take it to the other side, so what we have to do, they are given 5 possible grades, 5 possible grades, at least 6 will get the same grade. At least 6 will grade means, at least 6 means, okay. So, at least 6 will get means more than 6 they will not get. At least 6 means it's at least 6 will get it is a meaning. It's less than 6. Okay. So, 5 will get a grade. So, 5 will get a grade. So, 5 is less than or equal to n minus 1 divided by 5 is less than 6. So, so it is uh, meaning this 5 goes to left and right. So, 25 is less than or equal to n minus 1 is less than 30. So, again this 1 goes to left and right. So, 26 is less than or equal to n is less than 31. This is uh, at least only. So, minimum only. So, 26 students, uh, 26 students will receive the max class with the grade of at least Twenty six students will get uh, twenty six students will receive a discrete max for uh, five possible grades. Okay, so thank you.